that we uh, see a show about what? Breakfast. I heard breakfast. Great. <laughs> really hope we see a show about breakfast. Uh, or Brexit or breakfast? Breakfast. breakfast. <laughs> they, they both go good in the morning. Uh, <laughs> what does that mean? I don't know. <laughs> but without further ado, get your hands clapping. Make the North a musical improv from OKC Improv Mixtape Show! for your lovely cast of Miss Tate tonight. Introduce yourself, you are... Reed. Allison. Reed. Haley. Kyler. Maddie. Rachel. Wonderful, and uh, on the keys, our lovely music director. Make some noise for Kyle Goss. Yeah. Indeed. We have no idea what he's going to play. We have no idea what we're going to sing throughout the night and throughout the show, and that's what makes the magic and the comedy happen. Uh, so we're going with a breakfast theme for today's show. I'd love to go into the audience here. Hi, you in the blue shirt. What's your name there? Holly. Holly. Everybody say hi, Holly. Hi, Holly. Hi, Holly. What's the first thing you usually do when you wake up in the morning? Or it doesn't have to be the exact first thing, but something you absolutely have to do in the morning. I go to the bathroom. Go to the bathroom, you know. Uh, Going to the bathroom uh, sometimes is a lovely morning ritual for other people. It can be a very traumatic experience. And that's why our, we're going to sing our next song. It's going to be for Rachel, Maddie, and Haley. And the title of this song is, uh, That's Why Bathrooms Make Me Sad. <laughs> Was unlike the other. I went. 
for me. Uh, 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 our next game is going to be a lovely game called Sounds Like a Song. It's for Kyla Reed and Allison. Uh, what's going to happen is they're going to be uh, doing a Broadway-esque show. Uh, at any moment, our lovely music director, Kyle Gossett, can say, uh, that sounds like a song, to which they have to make the last phrase or word into a song. Uh, now, before then, to get inspiration, we were just talking about bathrooms. Go on this journey with me. Uh, <laughs> You are flushed down, you're flushed down into a toilet, you go through the pipes, and you end up into a magical world. What's the name of that magical world? <laughs> what is that? Oh. What is that? Clogden. Clogden. Wonderful. Uh, all right, somebody in this scene would have just been recently flushed down the lovely toilet into a magical world called Clogden. You're going to see a scene from Clogden the musical. And at any point, again, Kyle will say that sounds like a song. They will turn it into a show-stopping number. There is one number, at least one number in this show, that will receive a standing ovation. When you feel like that was the song, I want you to stand your feet and give it a standing <laughs> ovation in that moment. Cool. Without further ado, let's see the opening night of the opening scene or one of the scenes in the Clogden of the Musical. Okay, we traveled a long way to get to this clog, and now we're finally here. We've reached the clog. The clog. The clog. God. And all the colors. It's so much more beautiful than I ever could have imagined that it would be. So glad I'm here with you experiencing this. You weren't my first choice, I'll be honest. <laughs> That's okay, I'm nobody's first choice. <laughs> yeah, but uh, hey, sometimes it pays to be number two. Sounds like a song. <laughs> sometimes it pays to be somebody number two. <laughs> But it 
We've broken the clock. Oh, God. Oh, no. I don't know what this is going to be. Jesus Christ, what is that? <laughs> you're looking at perfection. That's what you're looking at. Hmm. What are you? You're not from Clogden. <laughs> Maybe I was once. I was just stuck behind the clock. <laughs> Sounds like a song. Stuck behind the clock. <laughs> Sounds awful. can only afford half of their own. Uh, 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 great. We still having a good time? Woo! Yay! Love it.
love it. Uh, is there anybody that's celebrating anything or anyone that's had a pretty good week, anything like that? Cool. Everybody's had a terrible week. Who can we make have a better week? Let's see here. I love this little row right here. Um, wonderful. Uh, is that blonde hair that you have uh, in the green shirt? Hi. What's your name? Uh, Petra. P Petra? Petra. Yes. Is that your real name? Yes. Cool. Wonderful. <laughs> Not everybody says, uh, after that before the next. <laughs> uh, great, Petra. What do you do for a living? Doctor, wonderful. Uh, do you mind saying, like, what, what specifically, what, what kind? Uh, weight loss doctor. Well, weight loss doctor, lovely, wonderful. And uh, when you're not helping people lose weight, or if I can assume that's what you do there, uh, when you're not doing that, what's like a hobby that you love doing? Stud studying is your hobby? Yes, you're a doctor. That makes sense. That makes you a good doctor. <laughs> Love it. Um, and then, are you, are you here with anybody? Are you here? Are you guys here together or no? Or with this fool? With this, with this fool. <laughs> What's your name? Ramon. Ramon. I just want to acknowledge Ramon that all the questions up until then have just perpetually have been uh uh. Are you here with anyone? Without a uh. This fool. Uh, <laughs> Uh, uh, Petra, what immediately, uh, are, you, are you guys married or, or dating or? Uh, we've been married uh, for... <laughs> 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 yeah. for so, so that's a very complicated marriage, okay, <laughs> seemingly. Uh, we haven't defined it yet. I mean, I have a ring and he has a ring. Uh, <laughs> great. Uh, what immediately attracted you to Ramon? Yeah. Well, his name is Nick. He lied to you. <laughs> what attracted you to Nick besides lying about his name? Uh, you know, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. I love it. Um, <laughs> cool. How long have you guys been together? 17 years. Wonderful. Three more to go. <laughs> We're not setting a timeline on it or anything. Uh, well, uh, if you could live your life by a specific kind of motto, what would be like that motto that you live your life by? That's great. Thank you. We're going to use that. No, you're perfect. So this is your own little personal bell, and I will wrap it later after the show. But we're gonna, uh, we call this show Mixtape because we are going to actually create an improvised mixtape for you. For folks that don't know, Mixtape is a series of music put together. It's like a playlist. Uh, <laughs> with film to it. See, film is an old cassette. Uh, all right, we'll look it up later. Uh, but we're going to be putting on an improvised mixtape for you using all the information which you've given us, and you have given us so much good information. <laughs> that bell is for you to skip to the next song. I don't care if lyrics have not been sung. If lyrics have not been sung and you're just like, I'm not feeling this melody, ring the bell. If you hear a couple of lyrics and you're like, oh, God, not this song, you just get to the next one. Um, you do have a certain limit on the skips that you have because you've only paid uh, for the free version of this. Uh, <laughs> and you don't have the premium one, uh, so eventually if you're just like always doing that, I'll be like, oh, she's drunk, get the bell from her. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> but also, we've never had to do that to anyone. Not that it's a challenge. Uh, I also, I also have a bell which uh, will allow me to sort of skip uh, any time that I decide that we want to skip songs so you can be as brutal or as nice as you want and you can leave me to be the brutal one. Who knows? Uh, whatever. <laughs> but uh, without further ado, Petra, this is your mixtape. <laughs> Thank God. 
believe that's what you did. Or crucify people and take them away. Don't question the doctor. Uh, <laughs> wonderful. We got time for uh, one more wonderful, fun game. Uh, after everything that you've learned today, what is like a sort of a third world problem of something that sort of fits first into the first, 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 first world problem? What's wrong with a third world problem? It's a charity song. Just give me a problem that you've noticed in the show today that you're like something should be invented to help that. Anything at all? Anything at all? Yeah, yeah, wonderful. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that is a third world problem. That is a third world problem, just to be clear. Uh, great. We are going to be doing a lovely number called Charity Song. It's going to be raising money for people who run out of the toilet paper in the bathroom, whether it be here in, in America or Ethiopia or any other place that runs out of toilet paper. Uh, can I get the name of like a charitable, made up charitable organization that would be raising money for people who run out of toilet paper? <laughs> what is that? Charmin's Way. Charmin's Way. Charmin's Way. Charmin's Way. Charmin's Way. 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 Yeah. Charmin's Wonderful. Way. Uh, Charmin's Way. Uh, raising money for Charmin's Way, who uh, of course raises money uh, to help people who have run out of toilet paper. Without further ado, we're going to do sort of a "We Are the World." Do they know it's Christmas time oh, stuff? <laughs> going to uh, sort of raise money for it. So when you grab the course, feel free to sing along. Without further ado, let's raise some money for Charmin Way!
that you don't care, so pull out your money and give to the Strawberry Fair. Oh no, we got all the money, and no, we're not asking for Bronny. You know you gotta make sure deep down, uh, and when you are inside, that you treat the sinner like a dating app and give yourself a really good swipe. I'm trying to say right now, let us raise the money for you, the money for me, and let us wipe our tushies off. Mission uh, for you to cool off and also to get ready for a headlining act. But before we do, I want to let you know we offer classes here at OKC Improv, and you can have all the fun that we're having. Uh, it all starts with just going to OKCimprov.com/classes uh, and then signing up for our beginning level one class. Uh, we've just started a brand new term. It's not too late to sign up because we're only one week in, so you can easily.